Hi everybody, so I'll continue on with 8.3 surface area and volume of a pyramid. Okay, so the surface area of any type of pyramid um, or prism, we won't be doing prisms right now, but in pyramids, what you're doing is you're finding the area of every face. Okay, so a face is, um, or so here, this would be a face, this would be a face, and the back is a face, and the side and the bottom. Okay, so we just find the area of each one and then add them together. When you're finding the volume of any type of pyramid, we, what you're going to do is find the area of the base. So the base is the bottom. So here is the base. It's the bottom. That is the, in this case, a square at the bottom. That's the base. So what you do is you find the area of that base, or in this case, the square, multiply it by the height of the pyramid and then divide by three okay for all pyramids we always divide by three okay so we're going to find the surface area and volume of each of the following pyramids okay so the surface area first so we're going to take we're going to find the area of each triangle and the square so let's do the area of the square first so the area of the square is length times width, which is 6 times 6, so 36 centimeters squared. Okay, so since it's a square, that means every triangle is the same, okay, because they all have the same length in the base. So the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, so that's 6 times 12 divided by 2. 6 times 12 divided by 2 is 36 centimeters squared. Okay, and then since we have four triangles, we're going to multiply this by 4. So we get 144 centimeters squared. So the total surface area is 36 plus 144, which gives us 180 centimeters squared. Okay, and that's all of it. Okay, so that's the surface area, now the volume. So we're doing the area of the base. Times the height divided by three. Okay, so we said the area of the base is, so we're finding the area of the square. So it's length times width, which is six times six. And now we want to find the height of the pyramid. So be careful with this. This here is not the height. That's the height of the triangle. That's not the height of the pyramid. The height of the pyramid goes from the tip to the middle here. This is the height. So we need to find the height of this. So what we do is we find this line here. So we may we create a right triangle within the pyramid. Okay, so the reason why we may we create a right triangle is so that we can use Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So this here is 12 centimeters from the middle to the end is three centimeters because that would be half of the base and now we're finding the height so to find this so a squared plus b squared equals c squared so we have a squared we don't know then three squared equals 12 squared so we get 9 equals 144, and we subtract 9, so we get 150, oops, 135, and then we square root. So we get 11.6 centimeters. We have 11.6 centimeters. 
so 11.6, and then divide by 3. 6 times 6 times 11.6 equals divided by, sorry, So we get 139.2 centimeters cubed, okay? Um, it doesn't say to round, but if it said round to the nearest whole number, it would be 139. If it said to the nearest tenth, it would be 0.2, okay? So a few questions for you guys. Page 441, 1, 2, and 7, okay? You need this information in order to help you with the CPT for next week. I hope everybody's well, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.